Okay, so I uh, I picked up this Nintendo Game Boy Advance SP off eBay. It was eighteen pound collection only. Um, very local to me, so I didn't mind picking it up. It's got a few scuffs on it. You can see um, on the top shell there, um, quite a lot of scratches on it, and there's just general wear and tear. I suppose there's a lot of dirt in all the crevices, so I'm going to clean that up at some point. But I did notice um, it come with three games. Uh, the one I'm putting in is Sonic, it's like a, uh, a, a dual game, and then I got, um, what's this one called, Special Forces CT2, and GT3 Advance plus MotoGP 2 and 1. Um, I've tried these games and Sonic doesn't work, you can see as I boot it up here it doesn't even come up with the Nintendo uh, logo there, so it doesn't see a, uh, a cartridge installed, so I'll turn that off. And I'll try the uh, racing one. We get a logo that's kind of there but corrupted. Um, and it probably won't boot from here. Nope. Um, and then the Special Forces one. Give that to one. And we get Nintendo there, that loads up. However, I have played this and it. Um, it crashes when I was either starting level, um, and I won't show bother showing that, but you can see it's intermittently working, which um, could be either the contacts in the cartridge slot on the Game Boy Advance SP, or it could be the contacts on the back side of these cartridges. So um, all I'm going to do in this video is just um, take these cartridges that I got, um, put this aside. For now, I have some 99% purity isopropyl um, rubbing alcohol. I got this off Amazon because it's very hard to source in the UK, especially 99.9% .9 purity. And I've just got a couple of uh, cotton buds to then wipe down. So I'll start off with the Sonic one actually because that's probably the game I'm more interested in playing. Got the iFixit kit um, so with with the bits. So let's switch this out here. Uh, what we're looking for the tri wing, which I think I have in here. Y zero might actually be a bigger one. Oh no, that fits fine. Okay, so I'll just pop that in there. slide the front off and then pull it away and um, I have opened these before just to go in and see and it's really bizarre because if I show you on on the camera close up if it can focus the contacts don't look particularly dirty I mean you can see there as I change the reflection you can see there's a um, a difference in the reflection on on those pads on those contacts but I can't see any dirt, to be honest, so I'm just going to take some of this isopropyl and, I, well, you don't need a lot of it at all, I'm just going to try and get a little bit on the Q-tip. Not entirely sure why I just called it a Q-tip, I think I've watched too many videos with Americans uh, demonstrating this, so I'm just going to take the contacts and I'll, I'll zoom it in here. Keep on wait. Okay. Um, all you want to do is just just wipe down and obviously with this being rubbing alcohol as soon as you start to spread it out um, it will just evaporate so put a bit there you'll see in a second it just just evaporates so it doesn't matter about getting this all over the place as long as you're giving it a good clean now I have heard about the um, eraser method I don't have a pencil eraser uh, on me or by hand so um, I'll just do with this with the isopropyl rub for now um, it doesn't seem to have done much to the actual contacts um, see if I can get a bit of a close up see if I can flash it in the in the light again you can still see where the contacts rub so maybe there's an issue with the contacts in the Game Boy Advance 
SP whereby they are um, causing an issue when they touch on certain contacts because as you saw from booting up the uh, which game was it I think it was the advanced advanced the special forces CT2 when I booted that up um, the Nintendo logo was there and let's get this back up to where we were the logo was there and it booted into the game however there was a point where it would um, it would crash so I've given that a, a wipe down I'm going to let it dry, it should be dry now anyway this stuff dries pretty quick pop it back in pop the case back on and then we'll get the screw back in and just give it a try I mean if it doesn't work then it could be more of a fault with the chip or we still have an issue with the contacts in the in the in the slot for the Game Boy Advance so that should be dry now there's no way that's still there because it's, it's dried up off the surface I'm using and uh, let's give this a boot up so Nintendo's now come up on the logo Sonic Battle and Sonic Advance, so it's actually booting into the game now. I'm just going to adjust the sound so it's not blasting too loud on the video. Press start, that works. I can't see any graphical issues yet. No glitches. Don't think we can skip this, but we'll continue. Let's see. No, so Game Boy Advance works pretty well. As it should, it charges, the brightness works. The button, all the buttons work. So I'm just skipping to this. Start. Game start. Just going to try and boot into any game here, just dead quick. Yeah, so to me it looks like it's, it's fixed the issue. Before it wasn't booting at all. And now, obviously, it's completely plain. Now, obviously, however long this game this will last for, um, I don't know. I'm pretty confident at this stage it's going to work flawlessly. So, that's that one. Um, that seems to have worked. I'll boot up the... Let's try the GT1, the GT Racing. Um, and it's always worth giving the contacts in the in the Game Boy itself, giving them a clean down because obviously if there's any dirt on them, they can get passed onto the cartridge contacts. Um, you can see here, yeah, Game Boy, no logo, and not booting. So take it out. Let's give this one an open and a clean. Whoa, okay, did not mean to flick that across. I suppose that's the problem with a bit of rubber springy there. It's just flung it. Luckily, it didn't lose, didn't lose it. So, again, see if I can show you here uh, the contacts. If we focus, there we go. Contacts don't look too bad. You know, there's no immediate signs that tell me that there's major issues, but as with the last one, we, we'll give it a try. Um, I used the other end of the original one I had. Dip it in, don't need much at all. Okay, and uh, same as before, just take the cotton bud, give it quite a good rub. Up and down. So parallel with the contacts and then just go horizontal across them. You can be vigorous with this, obviously it's a it's a cotton board, it's made out of cotton with a little bit of liquid on it. So it's not going to be abrasive, it's not going to be damaging any of the contacts. No matter how hard you press down on it, so. And to be honest, I can't see any dirt on, on the tip itself. I mean, I'm not going to really bother get this 
Yeah, there's not much there. You can't see on the video and I can't see too well from it being right in front of me, but it's always worth it. Just give it a try. You know, for how much these cost, and this was about, I think this was 6 dollars um, for 500 mil, which will last a long, long, long time when you're just doing a swab of, on a cotton bud and then wiping it on the actual cartridge. It's going to last pretty much as long as you're doing this. So again, I'll let it, let it dry off, which should only take a matter of seconds anyway. Um, obviously, again, I'm not guaranteeing this to work. There was an issue. If we've solved it by cleaning it, then that's great. But if not, there might be another issue preventing it from booting. Um, only time will tell, I suppose. Let's get it put back together and it's not screwing quite nicely then that isn't. Okay. Oh, put it back in. Okay, we get the Nintendo logo now, so that's a good sign. It's booted up into the game, obviously we haven't actually got anywhere yet and there's potential for some graphical glitches or crashing but so far so good try and skip through this as quick as possible so again like I said there's it's running quite nice I'll try and get this up close to the camera as possible so I'll just put straight into a quick game here Can't see any graphical issues going on with the game, it's running smoothly. And obviously I could test this for two minutes, I could test this for half an hour, and if there's going to be a crash, it's going to happen at any point. Um, I'm obviously not going to sit here and test this on camera because it's just going to take forever. So that works, obviously I've then got the final one to do but that's just uh, quickly you know if you've got a, a game cartridge that isn't working all you got to do is get inside get into the contacts you don't even have to take it apart to be honest as long as you can get a, a cotton bud and you've got some isopropyl uh, rubbing alcohol just shove it in there give it a wipe up and down and then um, let it dry obviously give it time to evaporate off stick it back in that should be working